Hey everyone, so I'm just going to do just a random video because I haven't made a video on this channel in weeks and I feel really bad. So I don't have anything to really talk about. <laughs> um, no tutorials, no reviews, no hauls. I haven't been buying in a long, long time. Um, I've been working so much and well, I guess that's going to end now because I got laid off yesterday. So I hate to be excited about that, but I kind of am because I took that job just to kind of get out of the house and have some extra spending money and it ended up not being a very fun job at all. So I'm kind of glad it was, there wasn't enough work to keep me around. So yay! So now I have more time to make videos, <laughs> but I do want to get a different job. So for the time being, I'll get to make some extra videos. Um, I did want to come tell you guys that I opened up my email yesterday and I had a reply from Candy Johnson, if you can imagine that. And if you guys know Candy Johnson, and I know you do, because everybody does, how can you not? Um, I've been watching her for a long time, well over a year, since pro just about the first time she started making videos on YouTube. And um, if you know, she just doesn't comment. She doesn't comment back because she gets thousands and thousands and thousands of comments on her channel, on her videos. So. I was like in shock when I saw there was a reply from her. So I opened it up and um, I had made a comment on her lemon and sugar scrub, her um, face lemon scrub video that she just made. And I just said that you should be careful because the granules and the sugar are actually pretty abrasive on the skin and can scratch the skin and cause um, microscopic scratches in your skin. So it can be damaging, just, you know, just depends. I said, you should probably use, if you're going to use sugar, I would use the finely milled sugar, the kind that's in baking, baking sugar. It's just more finely milled. Um, but she commented back that, um, well, I'll show you right now. I'll put it in. <laughs> um, I made a comment about um, her lemon and sugar scrub video that she just made. And I uh, just mentioned real quick that um, it might be a little abrasive. And this is the comment that I got. And, at first, I thought, oh my gosh, I made her mad. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, that was the reply. Um, I kind of felt bad. I think I made her mad, and I didn't really mean to make her mad or be um, kind of um, not agree with what she was saying or trying to put her in her place or that kind of thing. Not at all. It's just I've seen um, my esthetician now for well over 10 years, and... Um, there's been lots of topics of that discussion about scrubs because when I was young and it goes kind of back to her video because she was saying you could kind of scrub the freckles down and you know fade them out and it reminded me in high school I hated my freckles I hated having red hair and I hated my freckles I just in high school you just hate everything about yourself in general you want this if some girl has straight hair you want curly hair if they have curly hair you want straight hair you know how it goes in high school you're just really at that insecure stage well, red hair and feckles, I mean, could you be any more insecure? And being pasty on top of that. So I used to try to scrub my freckles off with um, Comet. I kid you not, I used Comet on my face. I used bleach. I used pretty much any abrasive. I remember using, what's that, that liquid um, Comet? Soft scrub. I used soft scrub on my face, if you can believe that. I would do anything. I would put lemons on there. I would put lemons and bleach and go out into the sun hoping it would bleach the freckles out. It was so bad. And then it reminded me, um, if you've seen Molly Ringwald it has a new book out, and she mentioned that she did that when she was younger too with sandpaper she used on her face to get the freckles off. And it made me laugh because I remember, I didn't try sandpaper, but I tried damn near everything else. I did use sandpaper on my teeth though. True story. Um, and it worked. But anyway, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, so, you know, I was just thinking when she made that video, I was thinking, oh my God, all these young girls that watch her, I can just see it right now. They're all going to be like, just scrubbing the hell out of their face with sugar. So, um, you know, I just, I felt bad. I didn't mean to offend and I didn't mean to, you know, step on anyone's toes. I just, I just worry about young girls that watch videos like this and, you know, take, everything that is said in videos to heart and maybe take it to the extreme. I don't know. So I was just saying, be careful girls because that can be really, really abrasive. But um, anyway, enough of that. <laughs> I just thought it was really neat. I got, a, I got a reply. You don't usually get replies from her unless you've made her mad. So I think 
think I made her mad, but I didn't mean to. And you know what's really bad about comments? And I've made comments on lots and lots of videos, just tons every day comments. I'm really big on commenting on people's videos, and I'm always positive, always. Everybody knows I make really positive comments because what you know? What's the point of making negative comments? You got to be nice. So um, I just thought it was. I don't want comments to come across as abrasive. You know, um, verbiage can really come across as bitchy or condescending or snooty or you know because they're just words. And I, God, I wonder if mine come across like that sometimes. I hate to think that, but. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I guess along this kind of the same topic, um, I was in the bookstore about three weeks ago and picked up the latest nylon issue. Um, I love nylon because it's just so quirky and kooky and just not the norm. But I was flipping through it. I don't know if you guys do this. When you look at magazines, do you flip through it to see if there's anything that kind of catches your eye before you buy it? Because I do. And so, look at here. <laughs> this is why I got it, because Candy Johnson was featured in it. And this is the May edition, um, and she's on page 91, and it talks about YouTube gurus. Um, and it's got the Pixie Woo, it's got Samantha in here. So I thought that was a cool issue to pick up, because um, it, I think that's really cool that they're getting recognition in a, a pretty big magazine. I thought that was pretty awesome. And then I picked up a couple other magazines that I, I got on a stool because all the cool magazines are way in the back, on the top. So I got up on this stool and I saw some of the coolest magazines back there. This is the makeup store and I've never ever seen this before. I think that's so cool. Look at some of the images in here. How cool are those images? They're just beautiful and I've never seen this magazine before. There's tips and little tricks in there. Real big visual person so I just think it's really cool. I love it. I mean I just think it's really really neat. And then I picked up um, DIS Funk Funk Fashion Function. <laughs> I can't say that. I don't know what the hell that says. But it's got Shannon and Elizabeth on the cover, and I was flipping through this, and there were some really neat pictures in here too, which I thought were so neat. Dysfunction. I can't think of the. I don't know what the name of this is. I can't pronounce it. But it's fashion and art which are my two favorite things in the world. <laughs> I love fashion and art. And then I picked up Lush, and I've never heard of this one either. None of these I was running out of space. I had to free some disk space up, but I'll talk quick because I only have a couple more minutes left on here and then I got to download. So anyway, in Lush, there's an article about the makeup artist for Chanel that did the runway show featuring this look, and I don't know if you guys remember it, but it had the coolest eyeliner, the coolest makeup in that runway show just gorgeous. And then there was another photo I wanted to show you guys real quick. I just think this girl is adorable. Look how cute she is. <laughs> so cute. But anyway, so check out your bookstores and um, check out some of these cool makeup magazines because they're really, really neat. Very excited. And then if anybody knows anything about when they're going to get that uh, Benefits Legally Bronze kit back because Look what's left of my hula. There's like nothing left. And I know that Legally Bronze collection had this and a, like three other things in it. And I'm dying for it, but it keeps saying it's sold out at Sephora. It's killing me. So I've been, I've been resorting to <laughs> hard candy. I've been trying to switch it up so I don't use up all my hula. This is um, Hard Candy's Tropics bronzer. And it's okay, but it doesn't last. It just kind of falls right off. So that's kind of a bummer. But, um... Anyway, thanks for watching, and it's good to talk to you guys again, and I promise I'll make more videos soon, soon, soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.